we know that Tampa and Toronto and teams like that are kind of been a lock to make the postseason for a long time. What about the ones on the bubble, though, Emily? In your opinion, which team on the bubble to make the postseason is facing the most pressure to actually make the postseason? Oh, the answer is quite obvious for me, and it's the Pittsburgh Penguins. They have the longest active playoff streak in the NHL, 16 seasons, and that's very much in jeopardy, despite being in a playoff position for most of the last few weeks. And you have to think about the way the season started for the Penguins, Jay. I mean, they were bringing back Chris Letang and Evgeny Malkin, and it was all these good vibes because they believed this core can still win a championship. And for them to fall out would be a brutal collapse, and I think they're at risk of it. I mean, their goaltending could be described as suspect at best. Tristan Jari has now been pulled in four of his last 10 starts. And most concerningly, and probably equally concerning, that's probably what I should say, is that they're without four of their top six defensemen right now. Chris Letang, for especially how difficult of a season he's had, given yep. the stroke that he suffered, the unexpected loss of his father, has been excellent. But he's overtaxed, and he was overtaxed before they just announced that Marcus Pedersen is going to be out week to week. Pedersen's been low-key excellent for them. He's brought out the best in Letang as a defensive partner. These are all reasons to have concern about this team, and I have a bunch of them. It's funny because, you know, around the deadline, a lot of people thought Ron Hextall, GM of the Penguins, was not active enough. You wonder about his future should they not make the postseason. It's been a couple of weeks since the deadline, Emily. You did a great job for us on Trade Center. We loved having you a part of our coverage. I'm curious to get your thoughts on, uh, you know, we're, we're a couple of weeks past the deadline. Some players have been with their teams as much as a month. Who's the most impressive acquisition that you have seen so far? And in your opinion, what's the biggest bust? I have a hard time not picking Matthias Ekholm and the Edmonton Oilers as the perfect love match. I think they've been absolutely beautiful together. He's exactly what they needed, a defenseman that had gravitas, that had composure back there. I was between the benches for one of his first games as an Edmonton Oiler. It was against the Buffalo Sabres. It was a big road win for them. And I was just so impressed by how comfortable he already looked. Like, he was giving his teammates instructions of where to go and what to do. And I think that he's going to help Edmonton get over that hump that they've been trying to get over the last few years. As for the biggest bust, I mean, I don't want to pile on the Pittsburgh Penguins right now, but I kind of have to. And you mentioned Hextall's deadline. I mean, Dmitry Kulikov, we mentioned the four of the six defensemen that are out. He's one of them. We really haven't seen him. He's out week to week. And then Mikhail Granlund, I mean, the best way you could describe him is nothing to write home about. Uh, they had a chance to bolster their team, and I don't think they're in a better position now than they were before the deadline.